This weekend is the unofficial start to summer, and while we plan our beach trips, cookouts, and summer getaways, we also know we must keep attention on keeping our skin safe under all that sun. More Americans are diagnosed with skin cancer each year in the U.S. than all other cancers combined. And between 2008 and 2018, the last decade, the number of new melanoma cases diagnosed annually has increased by 53%. Joining us now to discuss how to not become one of those cases is Dr. Robert Hong. Thanks for being here. Thank you. First of all, let's talk about, because I think a lot of people don't understand, melanoma is not uh, sun-caused. It's, it's genetic, right? Well, uh, sun, sun exposure is a risk factor, but okay. generally speaking, we separate skin cancers into melanomas and non-melanomatous skin cancers, which consist of uh, the more garden variety squamous cell carcinomas and basal cell carcinomas. The melanoma is is the the type of cancer that's really uh, really concerning. Yeah, it's very malignant. It has a high propensity to spread. Um, that's I mean, all cancers have the uh, propensity to kill people, but melanoma is a particularly uh, ruthless type of cancer. And so, while we stress in this segment the importance of sunscreens and sun care. You need to check all of your body, places even where the sun doesn't shine, uh, to make That's sure right. you don't have that type of cancer. That's right. So it's very important to be aware of any freckles or moles or any changes to existing freckles or moles or anything that, that's new that pops up. Um, uh, it's important for your spouse or a healthcare provider to check areas where you can't see. Um, but it's very much uh, uh, imperative that you do take care of your skin. It's the lar largest organ in your body. And it's, uh, as you can see, I'm very fair-skinned, mm -hmm. Irish uh, background. Uh, and I've, I've learned over the years, things that look very frightening are just innocent moles, no big deal. And then things I never even noticed, even on the bottom of my earlobe I've had frozen off that were precancerous. That's right, that's right. So uh, generally speaking, I like to call it the ABCs of uh, skin, skin cancer screening. Um, a stands for asymmetry. So you want to look at a mole or, or a freckle and see if you can draw a line through it. And it's uh, equal on both sides, so symmetry. B is border. So border is irregular borders or a hazy border that fades from dark to light. And then C is color. Like you said, um, a dark color per se is not worrisome for a cancer. But if there's mottled dark uh, brown, red, blues, even white, that's worrisome. And then you have uh, the diameter. If it's, if it's bigger than um, uh, the, the size of an eraser head, about eight millimeters or a quarter of an inch, that's always concerning. And then finally, um, E stands for evolution. So if you're 40 or older and something new pops up, you know what? Even if it looks benign, that's worrisome. Mm -hmm. So just remember the ABCs of skin cancer and uh, try to use that mnemonic to, to uh, look at different areas and determine whether or not it's uh, worrisome. But at, at the end of the day, if you have any worry, it's important that you go to a place like Virginia Hospital Center or a dermatologist or, or any place like that um, to, to have it professionally checked out. And those screenings are, are five minutes or less. It's, you can do this very quickly, uh, in and out. There's no reason not to get That's in right. there and get that appointment. We see all this footage of people putting sunblock on, which is so important uh, and has other benefits, anti-aging and, and so forth. Uh, we obsess, I think, in the media about the SPF and, and the numbers That's on the right. bottles, but it's also just about application, the timing of the application for when you're exposed and how often you apply. What is your recommendation to your patients? So, so you bring up a good point. First of all, there's two types of uh, radiation, UVA and B, and um, it's easy to remember. A stands for aging, B stands for burn. So you, you want a sunscreen that is broad spectrum. You want a sunscreen that covers both UVA and B, but when you do apply it, you want to apply it 15 to 30 minutes before you go out, um, and that's to allow it to soak in. Um, and then when, you're, when you are out, you want to reapply it every two hours. If you're exercising and sweating or if you're in the water, you want to reapply it as soon as you dry off. Um, just because you had it on and you go swimming, you know what? It's likely that it's, it's uh, uh, off your skin at that point. And screenings for skin cancer, how often? Uh, screenings for can skin cancer, if you, have, um, if, if you don't have a history, I would encourage you to, to have it once a year. Um, if you do have a history, as often as twice a year. All right, Dr. Hong, thanks so much. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. Well, thank you. With lots of sunshine, hopefully. Not, Pleasure. not too much rain. We'll be right back. Full Measure with Cheryl Ackerman.